the first edition of the Four Gospels, printed by the Golden Cockerel Press, one of 12 copies on vellum. I'm Adam Douglas, Senior Specialist in Rare Books at Peter Harrington, and I'd like to show you this exceptional copy. Uh, the first clue is the box surrounding it. It's obviously a special copy in a box like this, in pristine condition. And as we get it out, we see that it has a beautiful white pigskin binding with these, this specially designed gold motif on the front by Eric Gill, who was the artist who decorated the golden cockerel Four Gospels, the masterpiece, most people would agree, of the press. And this copy, if we go to the colophon at the end of the book, we will see that this copy is special in a number of ways. It is one of 12 copies printed on vellum. It begun on the 20th of February 1931, completed on the 28th of October in the same year. 500 copies were printed generally, but copies number 1 to 12 are on vellum. This is copy number 9. And then it is signed and inscribed with his cipher. This is Eric Gill's cipher. There's the E and the G, the long descender of the G. And he's inscribed it to Leonard Wolf and Babette N. Clayberg. Now, the ink is slightly different on the second um, inscription, and indeed Le Leonard Wolf and, uh, and Babette N. Clayberg were not exactly close neighbours. Leonard Wolf was a neighbour of Eric Gill's, of course, nearby in Sussex, and they'd worked together many times. They were close, close friends. Uh, but Babette uh, Clayberg was a San Francisco book collector, member of the book club of San Francisco, and um, one assumes that the presentation, the inscription by Gill, this is, uh, uh, was arranged by Leonard Wolf to give to her because it would take a rich collector to buy a copy like this. Uh, the book is, as I said, in this white pigskin binding. It's one of the special bindings done for the book by San Gorski and Sutcliffe, who were leading binders of the time in London, and still are. Uh, the book is signed here at the foot of the front turn-in with their um, gilt stamp bound by SNS London. Very grand, just to give SNS instead of their full name. And, of course, the book is a masterpiece. Beautifully produced book. As I say, the finest book of the press with these wonderful decorations by Eric Gill, which really are famous examples of his work. Beautifully printed. And, of course, the luscious vellum on which it's printed makes the black type really stand out. It's a wonderful book. Full of dramatic, full-page illustrations like that. And of course, printing books on vellum at this time is a luxury that few could afford. And this copy the vellum is beautifully white, well-preserved, and smooth as the day it was published, I imagine. So really a tremendous example of private press printing at its most lavish in the original Sangorsky and Sutcliffe binding, and a presentation copy signed by Eric Gill, the artist. So, the masterpiece of the Golden Cockerel Press, and really one of the three greatest uh, private press books, along with the Kelmscott Chaucer and the Dove's Press Bible, uh, a really superb copy, uh, preserved in this buckram box, which you might think um, might conceivably get dirt or scuffs on it, but you can see it's pristine. The reason for that is that it actually comes with a, a box for the box. So uh, there is a complete chemise and collector's case to preserve it. And I think it's worth doing because this really is a superb copy um, in superb condition.
So for more information on this book and other private press masterpieces, please see the Peter Harrington website.